Hey guys, it's Crypto Llama here, bringing you another update and more Splinterlands content. Uh, today, I thought I'd make a quick no fuss video about SPS for those who think that the white paper is perhaps too long to read, uh, but are still interested in making money in Splinterlands. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this on my stream, uh, which by the way, if you haven't done so already, come and say hi. We do DEC giveaways regularly and would love for you to be a part of and join in on the discussion with us. Um, I'll leave the linkage in the video description below but yes back to SPS so if you don't already know splinter shards SPS is a governance token which forms a part of the splinter lands ecosystem of tokens so it was basically created so that the holders of SPS can make decisions and literally be a part of implementations that happen to the game um, a few of examples could be uh, you know things like card balances daily quest rewards season rewards, leaderboard rewards battle settings like time limits mana cap rule sets inactive splinters uh, the list goes on there's a heap more but in order to understand it uh, I think we need to see how it is distributed and the total supply of the coin now bear with me here I know no one likes to look at graphs but I promise you this is really important if you are serious about putting some time into this game with the ultimate goal of making money um, so here we have it the complete release schedule of SPS it will take approximately 65 months from the date the tokens were first released uh, which was actually only a month and a half ago in July but before I continue I wanted to address the people who are screaming FOMO 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 I've already missed the boat yada 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 this airdrop literally started less than a month and a half ago uh, the total of 12 months before the airdrop ends. We're only on the 43rd day of the airdrop. If anything, the time is right now. If you're putting your time into this game, you're going to be rewarded more than any other player who joins from this moment in time and more than any player in history if they start in a year's time after the airdrops have finished. Um, anyway, I wanted to go over the points here that are specific to us as the player base because let's be honest, the rest bear very little weight to us and they're a drop in the ocean in regards to actual allocation percentage. Um, so firstly, we can obviously see that the primary goal of the token is to reward Splinterland players and asset holders with 13.3% of the total token going towards the airdrop um, that will be conducted over the 12 month period. So it's important to note as well that each player earns uh, differently depending on the Splinterland assets they hold. Um, each type of asset will be assigned a specific amount of airdrop points. Uh, you can see that here in this chart, but basically the more of these assets you hold, the larger the portion of the airdrop pool you will receive. For instance, if you hold a ton of DEC, have a good card collection, own land, uh, you'll obviously make a larger portion of the rewards. But that's not to say that you can't make a decent amount off an extremely modest investment. Uh, so there that is there of all the points that you can make uh, and receive for airdrops. Uh, by the way, this happens on a daily basis. These rewards are generated on a daily basis. I would love to find a bank which pays me daily interest. If I want to go to another bank, I can just take my money, take my interest and leave whenever I want. Um, in fact, I'd also like to find a bank that if I deposited amount of money, that double my money in a year's time. And that's not even taking the possibility of the inflationary nature of SPS into account. Um, I'm sure a lot of people who have been in the crypto space as well will understand it's actually quite natural for crypto assets to test their all time highs. It happens consistently across the board. This is happening right now. Um, so I wanted to show you this chart here. Uh, this is SPS. We're currently seeing it 28 cents per token, but the all time high is way up here. That's 230% increase on today's price. Now, I'm not going to specify exact figures here because, as with any market or asset, it's unknown whether it will actually appreciate or depreciate over time. But let's say we put, say, $500 worth of Monopoly money into the game, which currently is the equivalent of, say, around 1785 SPS. Then the annual percentage yield on top of that, which is 130%, uh, which we get from staking. Of course, this will decrease over time, but the fact by the end of the airdrop that we could very well surpass the previous all-time highs, um, that's a lot of Monopoly money and Park Lanes and Mayfairs. Um, but 
Anyway, if we go back to this chart here, we can see that combined with play to earn, staking pools, airdrop rewards, that nearly 75% of the total supply is going towards rewarding players. Um, that's mental. That That's 75% of the entire coins allocation uh, can be gained by players just from playing the game. Uh, Splinterlands also plan to introduce a governance voting system into the game platform that will allow players holding staked SPS tokens to vote for or against different changes and proposals to the game and its ecosystem. Uh, the way that this will work is each staked SPS token will be worth one vote. The more SPS tokens a player has staked, the more they will be able to influence the results of the votes. So basically, if I buy up a lot of the supply, I'm going to be able to finally get that Crypto Llama card that I've been waiting for for so long. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We've already got a Llama card in the game and that's already hard enough to deal with. Um, but yeah, within time, a new area will be added to the Splinterlands website that will be able to provide an interface where SPS holders can view, create and vote on proposals for the game. So I want to leave you with one last thought. What happens when the supply dries up? Remember that there's only going to be a maximum total supply of 3 billion SPS tokens. Let that sink in for a second. What happens when they run out? Do you think the price will increase? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts below on this. Anyway, that's it from me for now. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Come visit us on Twitch and yeah, I'll see you on the blockchain.